Hi dearest ones, welcome to June's project on personal altars and I thought this month I would share a little video with you on how I'm creating my altar. So what I decided to do was to actually start really small and to get a small matchbox and I'm just going to remove the matches out from inside and put them to one side. And then this is actually what I'm going to be using for my personal altar. So you can use any box you like, you can use um, a, a large size, you might want to even build something wooden, but I felt like I wanted to go really miniature because I've been on the road for the last few days and I just felt like it was great to be able to slip something in my pocket that can kind of fold up and really allow me to have that sense of myself and you might choose to make your about a loved one, you might choose to um, create it as a personal goal, as an aid for meditation. And I'm just gonna create mine in a kind of organic way. I've collected a few collage images, but I'm not sure kind of the essence of it, but I'm just really trusting myself. So I'm gonna start. What I wanna do is try and find the middle, and I'm just gonna cut down, because what I want is to create like some little doors. Um, within my altar and so what I've done is do that and I'm actually going to turn it the opposite way so that it folds in so it's just like this very nice kind of brown coating and I'm going to use some glue to just stick it in so one of the things I really love about this project is that for years I've traveled around different countries like India with little Buddha figures and goddesses to create a shrine wherever I go and this really allows me to create a sacred space and carry it with me. So the next stage for me is I've decided to actually paint this gold on the inside and outside um, just because I love the way that gold gives such a unique and precious quality to everything that it kind of touches and it's a really a way for me of honoring um, my altar and what's inside and another thing is sometimes um, people call altars shrines and they're very very similar and often shrines have more religious connotations and you can choose to make them in nature inside your house in a home but it allows you to just have a little sacred space that holds something for you that might be deep inside of your heart I also decided to just put a little bit of gold leaf just on the outside and just remembering that, you know, this is such a personal project and it may look completely different to the one I'm creating right now. So I decided to work on this in an intuitive way and the thing that's coming up for me right now in this moment is having one side of the opening as dark and the other as light um, and that's for like a symbol of dreaming and um, for me to be in tune with the different cycles so I've just found a piece um, that I want to collage in I also just want to make sure it fits so just like this so I've got one side that's night um, and I'm also just going to include I just found a little moon as well that felt really important for me right now. So I'm just going to stick that little bit of moon in. And I'm just using gel medium, but you're welcome to use um, Mudge Podge or any glue that you like that's just going to allow you to collage the images in. And also a bit of gold's gone on there, which I really love. <laughs> just found this incredibly beautiful image to me of um, a woman drumming with the sun behind her so I'm going to add that to the other side and just allow it to emerge and I kind of feel like I'm being guided by the images like I really didn't have the intention of setting out with uh, just doing the sun and the moon um, but it's just what's happening and I guess that's the balance between the masculine and feminine of day and night and so really just um, an altar towards balance right now but we will also see how it evolves and how things begin to happen and flow so there we have right now 
we've got the woman and the sun with the butterfly transformation and the moon. So I'm also realizing um, that it doesn't have to just be the inside, but it's also the back. I found this um, beautiful image. I don't know if you can see these two women. And it felt like those are really the keepers of this altar or um, shrine. So I'm just kind of putting them onto the back, just like that, um, as kind of gatekeepers. So inside I found two uh, images that are really powerful to me. There's this woman who's standing holding light and there's the image kind of somebody meditating. And so what I want to do is to kind of fuse this together in order to kind of embody the divine feminine and are holding the light and also this practice of meditation that I have each day. So they kind of become fused together. So you've got the rainbow body of this uh, beautiful um, figure fused with the other one. And this is becoming like really simple altar, but I feel like it's really, really powerful um, when I look at it. And it really allows me to feel this sense of deep peace within, this balance, this harmony, and this holding of light so far. So this next part, I, I found a heart, well I actually cut out a heart of things that looked like kind of synapses or neurons like wiring together and I cut out a heart and I actually wanted to put it on the inside but it feels like it's taking over the image too much. So what I've done is to cut it in half and it's actually going to be the opening of the altar. So as you can see, I'm just painting the medium over just to allow it to really fuse um, to the front. And then you can see uh, it joins together just like this to allow the opening of the shrine or altar. And I think what I'm going to do now is just add um, a few little dots around just to give it like a little bit more emphasis. and. We'll see what happens from there, so this is the back at the moment. So I also just decided to add some words and I found um, this really small piece of writing, I don't know if you can see it, which says how to love and it feels like that's really the essence of this piece, so I'm just going to add it in right now, just along the bottom, but it's that, for me it's that stillness, that going deep within, that deep listening. And then also that holding of life and how I can bring it out into the everyday. So I've just put it right at the bottom. As you can see, and I'm just using some of this. And now I'm going to move on to making some of the design inside. But I feel like it's really getting to a place where it's almost done. So what I'm just doing now is adding some dots around. And these, like, I find that they appear quite often in my artwork. And I don't know if it's come from an Aboriginal influence or, or what happened, but I, I feel like it kind of adds a certain quality to the art and really allows things to be emphasized. So, but again, you know, it's completely personal and it's whatever you want to create and how you want to create it. So there really is no right or wrong way to create a personal altar. This is just simply one way. You may be influenced by kind of more like Hindu, Indian style, Tibetan, Christian. You may use your religious beliefs or you may just completely put them to the side or just allow yourself to just really like take it wherever you really want to go. You're also welcome to do research on the internet um, at different personal shrines just to see uh, how other people are creating and use that inspiration and also within the group I hope that we begin sharing our altars and we become inspired by each other and you may choose to make a whole series it doesn't just have to be one altar it can be as many as you like or a different series or you know may also want to like Put them outside or keep them in a sacred place or it can be like something to carry around so that's what it's looking like right now and 
I really like that. So I hope that's helped you gain a sense of how you can create an altar. Again, use any size you want, any materials, any images, and any focus. Just feel guided by your intuition. And I can't wait to see the results in Heart Space.